build is going to be exploring the recently buffed Hex Retribution. Uh, just to sum it up, every any time that while well, I have Retribution active, any time a Hex Totem is uh, cleansed or blessed, I will see the locations of all survivors for 15 seconds. If they touch a Dull Totem, they'll become oblivious for 45. <clears throat> Also went ahead and paired that with the uh, typical Ruin Undying and Corrupt Intervention. So no one's on top of a gen just yet. Let's get this down before I have to get it down later when they're on it. Maybe they'll try and outlast the corrupted, like they'll just wait it out. Oh, hello! I, I'm literally... Hello! Uh... Okay, you know what, I'll just leave you to your peace. I'm not ready for you yet anyway. Are you really following me? No. No, you're the person I'm chasing after. No, you're the... What the fuck, man? People... People still simp for Myers in 2021? Oh, boy. <laughs> God damn. Ooh. Live! Hi! You didn't expect to run into me, I'm guessing. Did you? <laughs> That's some retribution value right there, and a little bit of added wall hacks, so I can follow him perfectly. And it's a nice stalk on him. I paired to the, uh, the perk build of the day with uh, infinite tier 3, so knowing where people are is going to make taking advantage of my tier 3 um, all the better. I believe I've sucked that guy dry. Corrupt Intervention's down. I've already got to about tier 3 and 2 thirds. Oh. What are you doing here? I'm gonna leave you- oh! Hello! Um... I mean, sorry, but like... What do you expect? Ah, you were a little too late there. But, well, I got my tier 3, and there's only one gin down. I... I do apologize, but like... Come on. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're going to drop that. <laughs> Anytime you're going to flashlight blind a killer when they're breaking a pallet, you need to make sure that you can make distance and not make a ton of noise either. Oh, that's not actually a great time for retribution to pop. See, like right there, you didn't shine it right in my face, and I could hear you very plainly. You made basically no distance doing that. And now you're gonna go down. Oh, hi! You picked a bad time to show up, Cheryl. They did, they got rid of Retribution, not uh, Ruin. That's very good. Alright, you know what? I'll even let you get that hook save. But then you go down for it. You know, if you're gonna fuck with your flashlight, I'll just tunnel you. Yeah, you better drop that. I mean... Oh, how convenient. You put yourself right up against a wall for me. Alright, now let's let the fun begin. Caught someone over there, and they went backward. That's the Dwight. I mean, I'm in infinite tier 3, so I don't really care if I kill someone off who I haven't stalked yet or whatnot. Oh, come on. I mean, dude, you're... Like that, you don't camp pallets like that. You just have to drop it or you die, and it becomes very obvious that you're going to drop it. Would have been much better if he had just held forward and left that pallet for someone later. There's no pallet here, so he just goes down. Brilliant. I tell you, brilliant. Oh, I think you get this. Yeah. Oh, you were late. You were late. You were late. I suggest getting out of the way. All right, now let's go hunt one of those other fools. Let's see, whose scratch marks are these? Someone's... 
I assume... Nice. Brilliant. That's not close enough for you, for you to get a pallet save. Hmm. Okay, there's a hook right there for her. This uh, nice start was was really helped by me, me getting my retribution early and getting a lot of stock off of that Dwight. That really helped. I won't get anything more from retribution this game, but it's already done its part for sure. Someone's heading off to the left. I think that's the Fang Min. One of them, anyway. Oh, they're going to find my Ruin. Honestly, even if they do, like, okay. Ruin's done quite a lot for me this game. It can go. Alright, so... I'll go for you. I don't need to tunnel. You're going to drop this instantly. Wow, you fucked that up. Reading pallets against an insta-down killer is almost... Are you okay? Yeah, greeting pallets against an insta-down killer. Uh, you have dead hard? No? Okay. That's cool. Like I've been trying to say, greeting pallets against an insta-down killer is riskier than it's worth. You really should just drop the pallet. And then you should turn around and get the hell out and make some distance. You should... I mean, if you can go for the flashlight blind and you've got, like, iron will or something to hide your scratch marks... You could try it. It's probably not worth It's usually not worth it. And God help you if the killer has Lightborn. Alright. They didn't pick up that other Fang Min, but she crawled off somewhere. Maybe she has Lucky Break, because I didn't see any blood trails anywhere. That or she has Tenacity, so she could crawl away faster. Ah, there goes Ruin. Again, it's already done plenty of damage. That's fine. Hmm? Thought I saw someone, and I did. You're gonna go for the hook save right in my face, and you're going to trade hooks with her. Oh, we've got two people in the vicinity. I'm terribly sorry about that. You wanna do this again, Fang? Oh, we've got the whole team here. Nice dead hard. Ah, uh, you make this. Give me that pallet. Thank you. Someone went down there. I'm gonna pick up Dwight. Just take, just call it good. Oh, never mind. Cheryl is going to just give me free pressure. That's his second hook. It's a pretty nice three gen upstairs. I shouldn't go downstairs for that gen, even if they pressure it. You're on the other end of this wall. I can hear you. Did you go downstairs? Ah, there you are. I can hear you. Iron Will, friends. It's a lifesaver. If you go down there, I can't chase you. But if you want to hang out up here, have some fun. That's cool, too. Yeah, so the game plan for the rest of the match is just basically hang out up here. Like, I've got a very, very gnarly 3-gen up here. Let's throw you over here. And that's one player down. Two gens to go. Effectively one gen because... Wait, I thought I saw an aura for a gen downstairs. Oh, they... Oh, they're fucked. They're fucked. Yep, they're in a lot of trouble. Hi. Uh, I feel like you've given up. I don't blame you. This is a, this is a really tough situation. Yeah, you're not even wiggling. You've given up. Alright, that's pretty much game. Oh. You're dead? Man, I don't keep track of people on hooks enough. Oh. Someone. They didn't head downstairs. Ah. That's Dwight, I think. That's Dwight. He has one, he has one pallet over there. But honestly, drop it. I don't care. Drop it on my face. What are you pointing at? You want me to hook you over there? Is that what you're pointing at? Please hook me over there. Oh, you make this. Yeah, he makes that. But if I can, I'm going to show you a little trick. 
So that looks like it's a god window, right? I don't think I actually got down here fast. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Where are you at, Dwight? Yeah. He... So that, again, looks like it's a god window. Like, how could you ever do anything to that? To someone who vaults that? Actually, I just took a, um... I just dropped down that hole. You make that. Yep. And from there, he's basically choked out. Like, he can't go anywhere. Because I've covered every point of... Every possible point of, uh, entry. Go ahead, dance. Let's dance. Oh, that didn't hit. Whatever. I mean, again, I've got all fucking day to chase here. One person's not going to do two gins by themselves. Resilience isn't that busted yet. <laughs> I believe you're dead, right? You are. All right, let's go find Hatch. The other Fangman finds Hatch. So be it. You know, I typically don't slug for the 4K unless I have, a, like, some sort of achievement. So, she finds Hatch, cool. If I find Hatch, cool. Whatever. Let's see. We gonna find Hatch in the bathroom? No. It's a pretty common place for it to spawn. She's probably going to find Hatch first at this rate. Or maybe she's camping a gate. She's doing a gin? Fair enough. I can hear her doing a gin upstairs. Or at least she was doing a gin. I'm not sure if she's still doing a gin. Here I am walking around like a bumbling idiot down here. Oh! Alright. Now, race for the gate begins. And, typical game fashion, these are never going to be good gate spawns, especially for someone with limited mobility like Myers, who doesn't have a projectile. Oh, look it! Look it! I won the lottery today! You know what? You know what? I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. You gave me your item. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm a sucker for people who, who give me their item. You didn't even play that badly. You're free to go, my friend. Yep, yep, see you later. GG. Alright, so that's going to do it for today. For this build, we went ahead and went with a pretty basic setup of uh, Corrupt Intervention, Ruin, Undying, and Retribution. And the point of this video is to showcase the value of Retribution. So, uh, for those unaware, Retribution has been buffed recently. Uh, it's been buffed in that interacting with any totem at all, as you can see from the description, Dole or Hex Totem, you will be afflicted with Oblivious for 45 seconds. Worth noting that uh, 45 seconds only starts when you leave the totem. So that's 45 seconds after you're done cleansing it or blessing it. That's also 45 seconds even if you don't finish. Like if the killer shows up and chases you off with a totem, you are still oblivious. So that's a pretty nice nasty effect with an insta-down killer like Myers. But the real reason you use Retribution on pretty much any killer is uh, that last paragraph there. If any Hex Totem is removed, including this one, the ores of all survivors are revealed for 15 seconds. And that's the main centerpiece that got buffed. That used to only be 10 seconds. And I know that 5 seconds doesn't seem super significant, but you probably saw me chasing that Dwight early on in the game, and I got a little bit of wall hacks on him. It let me stalk him completely out of juice before I proceeded to get my Tier 3, and that would have been a lot harder to accomplish without those extra 5 seconds. So... Because of that, uh, Retribution beforehand was a generally niche, but still solid pick, and this stimulated its viability considerably. Uh, is it a meta perk in general? Probably not, but it is meta on some killers. I believe it to be meta on Myers. It is, that, is not a, pro that is not a unique opinion, by the way, um, but that's, that's kind of its own little rabbit hole. We'll jump down another time. So just for the build, uh, corrupt intervention to give me time to get to tier th to to get out of tier one specifically, ruin undying because without ruin there's no reason for them to ever cleanse retribution, and the the centerpiece here retribution.
and add-ons are pretty straightforward. We went with Infinite Tier 3 to take most advantage of the information Retribution gives, and went with J. Myers Memorial, which is his best add-on for improved stalking speed, allowing me to, again, when I'm not in Tier 3, take the most advantage out of the information Retribution gives. So let's see what our, what our Survivor team had here. We see, I believe, yep, two DSs, a dead hard, um, one prove thyself, we had a soul guard in play, and someone packed a brand new part. I believe that would have been the Dwight. He also had small games, so the fact it took the fact it took him so long to find my totems is a bit strange. But nevertheless, that's gonna do it. That is the buffed hex retribution. Uh, if you haven't gotten it already, you can get it off of Deathslinger's Blood Web at level 40, or maybe one of these days it shows up in Shrine. He hasn't actually had a perk show up in Shrine in quite some time, so maybe he's due. If it does show up, definitely recommend that you get it. And uh, yeah, this video is a good showcase as to why.